Hi everybody, welcome to Bilkin's Folly. I wish there was an easy mode, um, but there's not. Um, so normal is as close as you, can, as you can get. I'm starting a new game because I don't know if the game's just straight up broken for me or what. Um, I'm skipping some of the intro. You know, I'm going to skip a lot of the story elements and everything. It's going to be focused entirely on just kind of getting to where I was on the second island. Um, I've been playing this for a couple of hours, and to have to kind of turn around and start over is... Uh, it's very frustrating. It's a... Like, today's like not one of those days that I needed a game to make me have to start over after several hours into it, but... Um, I haven't been able to pro progress past the second island on account of running into... Uh, you know, the issue of not being able to find certain items and then finding it and not being able to find it again after I reloaded so, the conversations with people, I mean, you have this, I don't know, this pirate talk or whatever it is that they're doing, which it's, I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's a real language, is it? I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's just, it's a little bit uh, nuts. Um, in the conversation, something that's kind of quest related is going to pop up with this uh, H or Q. Um, hints are essentially completely useless uh, that I've experienced so far. Because they'll usually just tell you to do a specific thing or um, kind of regurgitate what they've already told you to do, just like restating the quest. So for me, that that, that line of um, hint or help hasn't been particularly helpful, but your mileage may vary. I think the pixel art animations and the backgrounds, the world itself, all of those are beautifully done. The game looks fantastic. Like, it definitely is very appealing for me. But when it comes to, you know, everything else, yeah, it's just... I, I'm not a huge fan Lucky. of the, uh, <laughs> the puzzles whatsoever. So puzzles are done in a couple of different ways. Some of them are going to be through basically songs of, of sorts. Uh, some of them will be based on clues like maps because it is a game about treasure hunting. So obviously that should kind of stand out and make some, some sense, I guess, as, as to what to expect. Um, Get our shovel. The Hovich. I read. God, how often? You have to. You have to do this portion right I here, because uh, if you try to get past it. You know, or you don't do this, you will just straight up miss things. You won't be able to go and dig. It's interesting uh, the way to do that. So anyway, so we have a map. Because the game is all about like treasure hunting, um, we have our actual map here, which shows the map of the island. Uh, and then we have this, which is a clue. And we can rotate things uh, if we needed to. That's useful probably at some point. Uh, I haven't run into a point where it is useful. But it tells me that there is something right here. X marks the spot. So it starts off really like in this kind of way that it's like... It seems like the puzzles are going to be relatively kind of intuitive and it seems like it's going to make a lot of sense. And I, I was pretty thrilled and excited about what I was going to experience. Uh... And then I started to like really like look at stuff and you know kind of go through uh, and try to find things and it became kind of kind of difficult. Um, 
Especially when I get to the second island. Alright, now we look for the grave, which is designated by this map right here. When I first saw this, it was like super hard. I had no idea of exactly what it meant. Um, and then, uh, as I spent some more time trying it, and you know, uh, I guess. process of elimination uh, and actually using the map I was able to have an easier time doing it it looks like you know that interacts somewhere right in the middle of where this one and this line exist now I don't have a line or a ruler or anything at this point so it's just a matter of eyeballing it as well as I can looks like it's right here I mean, we found her stuff. So. Q. Alright, we get an option. I'm not, you know, like the ghost should come over here, but I'm not gonna. Not gonna, like, give the dog a bone, because I don't want the dog to, um. You know, eat. Human bones, that would be bad. The Hoofitch G. Uh huh. Selsig. And now we get to escape. So that's like a walkthrough of the first island. So that's relatively simple to do. Shouldn't take you too long. It's relatively easy to figure out, I guess. Um, but the next island. Um, a little bit more on the frustrating side. Uh, I know there's this this uh, chest down here, but you can't do anything with it. At least not at this time. Uh, it is, um, you know, locked uh, until some other stuff happens. Uh, you gotta find something, I guess, in the game, but I haven't reached the point of, of whatever is gonna happen there. May he and Derg Oglock. May he and Derg Oglock. Canology. And then we come to their map, and the map shows all these islands that are kind of shaded. That's where we're gonna we're gonna go eventually. At least that is the plan. Um, you know, are we going to go there? No, it's... Uh, like, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to make it. Um, Bed, but she heard. And I'm, I'm going to skip through all of this. Um, kind of tells a little bit of the story. Uh, I wish there was a way to just skip conversations completely because I personally am not a fan of the way they talk. I guess I could probably go into the settings and see if there is a way to get rid of that. Uh, but I don't, I don't know for sure. Trying to get through things here. And that's it's part of the problem uh, that I've run into is there's certain things that seem to take uh, a long time. Conversations are long in many cases. They go on and on and on and on. And it's just kind of like, well, come on, just kind of get to the point. Uh, and they also simply don't tell you uh, very useful things in a lot of contexts when it comes to the different types of uh, puzzles that you're going to run into in the game. So, like, as an example, like, we just got here. This guy's telling me to come to where he lives and everything. But, I mean, I know I skipped through all of that, but he doesn't really tell you where he's at. Uh, so, 
you know, how are you supposed yeah, to find them? It just expects you to kind of like, I guess, explore and find things on your own, which isn't a bad thing. It just, um, it's not super easy to try to figure things out. So in the conversation again, you know, if it's got a Q on it, that means it is a quest. If it's an H, it's an hint. But the hints aren't like super useful. Alright, so he basically gave me this little clue that tells me what I'm supposed to do to find something. Uh, lost amidst the forest I be, non brave steps, to west I flee. By such turn, four north did tread, then by 12 east I made my bed. Um, so we can hold space and we can counter steps, and that's what that is. But let's say you're running into some issues and you're, you're like, I have no idea where to find this stuff. You come here and you're like, oh, a diary sent. Uh, he just uh, used the shred. So that hint is absolutely useless to somebody that may be running into an issue. Because as an example, if I look at the map... And I, so if I look at this, it sees it says lost amidst the forest of So the first line, it gives me a hint. Like I mean, there's a forest, and he was lost, so that's where I need to start. The confusing thing is X typically marks the spot, which is typically where you end on you know the quest that we just did on the first island. The X is where I needed to be. Uh, for this particular quest, the X is where I need to start, and that really kind of messed me up for a while, and I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. And again. Looking at this map, I have no idea where the forest might be. Like, at all. Like, there's no way for me to find it. And then we start looking around, and suddenly we find a forest. And so then it's, you know, look around and see if we can find the start. Alright. Found a start. Nine brave steps to the west. Uh, four north. And in 12 East. Alright, so theoretically, somewhere right around here. Got a key. Iron in. And we have found Iron in. the journal. And then there's this dude over here. How can I find it? Me he and girls up. All right. So this is um, with a bit of luck, you might be able to solve the code and discover Blum is trying. So the thing about this one is, it's quite literally. You have to, you got to figure this out. And, um, you have to just kind of basically guess, um, as you go through to try to figure out, uh, what you're doing. Obviously, you know. I don't, you know, you're just, you're looking around and it's just, it can be kind of frustrating because we know that this is probably, you know, could be this is the, this is this to their him fish answer. So these look like they are probably it. Some of these I know because I, I remember these, uh, but you have to just kind of figure this out as you go. And that makes it like not easy. And it's like, what? I don't know what to do, but if you do this long enough, it will pop up. Uh, it's going to pop up basically and kind of 
answer things pretty much. Um, yeah, so there's a flag that pops up. So if I gave, if I was like, you know what, I, I give up, I have no idea. Um, And I can do that here. But Agent Blum, your target is the last mark of the sun. Last. Yeah, mark of the sun, sail to Crab Island, your contact there. This is Rojo Snide. When you meet him, he will ask a flat footed fish, speaks in volumes, answers swiftly, softly. The seagull parts its lip. So. That is a puzzle. That's how you solve that one. Process of elimination. Uh, once you get one word, you can start kind of, Set it, iron in. you know, put them all together. But it's stuff like that. You kind of starts to set the tone for what we're going to experience uh, moving on. But we're going to, I'm going to basically make it to as far as I can make it in this island. That's going to be this video. Uh, the Hovich Chief. We're going to skip through the conversations because honestly, it, doesn't matter. Uh, I can just go to my journal to kind of get a good idea of everything that's kind of happened. They like to just give you maps. Uh, so, okay, cool. We're going to have to do maps again. Uh, I need to go to a gravesite. Well, I don't know where a gravesite is because, you know, you don't know where anything is. So, you, so the game is going to give you a lot of initial just go and explore aspects to the game. And I think it's okay that it does that, but I'm not a huge fan of it because there's so, so little direction at times where I really have no idea what it is that I'm I'm trying to accomplish like I know that I need to find something but I have no general direction of where those things may be Uh, one of the things that it told me I needed to do. Oh, this is the cipher that I I need. Yeah, I see I lost this cipher earlier and I could not find it again. Um, so I'm glad that I have found that again this time. Ooh. But you can buy some stuff uh, here, uh, but a lot of the stuff they don't have. I have no cash, so I can't buy anything. You can find some cash by completing, I believe it's one of the quests. Oh, or sometimes you can find some things. Uh, and if I talk to her, she'll give me a quest, but I'm not going to do any of the side quests. I'm just purely focused on the main quests here uh, for the purpose of this video. So it's a little bit frustrating for me just because some of the stuff that you're going to run into, you're going to see different things that you feel like you should be able to interact with or do, but they're kind of tied to progression of the quest. Uh, you need to complete some other things with the quest in order to make other things relevant, even though they appear to be relevant. And I think that kind of almost stifles, you know, your progress a little bit because there's things where you're already intuitively thinking this is probably going to be beneficial or useful or important. Um, I, I should probably do something about it or I should interact with it or do something. And then the game just basically says no. Mahin. And this is where Drayton will learn uh, some dog tricks. They're an overly, overly long conversation. 
His dog died. He's sad. Uh, totally understandable. Winner. This is like another one of those cases where the conversation just goes on for a really long time. And I don't quite understand why the conversations go on as long as they do. Especially with the way they talk. It's just, come on, stop it. But anyway, but it, they do tell you like important parts of the story. So it's it's got some things that are valuable to listen to. I've just been through this before, so there's not really any point in me uh, going through and like, listening to any of it at this point. It did. So, these are all a bunch of things that we can learn uh, as we play. Um, we can use this if we want him to stay. So, there's a lot of skills that Drayton will learn uh, being the dog and everything, so that's pretty cool. If I talk to him, he's going to give me a quest. I'm not going to take it. Uh, but one thing that we know is that this is a grave site, and we know that there is a... There is a grave uh, that we can do. But in order to figure it out, uh, to use specific items, we need to make sure uh, we're using the right quest item. And this is uh, this is something that kind of got me because I didn't understand what was going on. But you need to have the right quest up and active to make sure that you're bringing up your proper um, you know, quest things. So I'm looking for a JS. Alright, it's going to be JS. It's 7. I, and I, I feel like there, this might be the wrong spot. And it is the wrong spot. I can't remember if there's like another another place or not and I guess it's MSJSGS Yeah, none of those are like seemingly the one that I'm looking for. She's mean to me. I'm not even gonna bother talking to her because it's not part of the like one of the main quests, uh, at least not at this time. All right, we got a JS. I don't know if this is the right place. I can't remember where this where this thing is, and I feel like this is not the correct place whatsoever. I don't remember how many cemeteries there are in this island. I feel like it's only this one. Uh, but this is where I run into the problem of the puzzles being relatively obtuse. Um, There's supposed to be there's a GS right here. So there's supposed to be a JS left. 
but you think it might be this JS because this is uh, there's an MS on uh, one of these I think nope that's also a J J Smith a J and seasons Seven, four, and ten. Yeah, I don't remember where this one is and I'm, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for it so I'm not going to be able to show any of the puzzles unfortunately because uh, I can't seem to remember exactly where it was I don't like I said I don't believe there's any other uh, locations but that's part of the problem that I run into is the game gives you a puzzle it tells you something of where something might be or it should be you look for it and you're far off from it I could sit there and probably dig up that whole graveyard before I finally find what I'm looking for because the game doesn't really give me any hints to kind of help me out there and it just, I don't know, it's very frustrating. Uh, trying to figure it out, I don't know why that's not the right thing to do. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember if there's another graveyard. I'm gonna go look around real quick. I don't think there's another graveyard, so I think that is, that's where I'm supposed to be, uh, but Maybe I'm wrong and there is there is one somewhere, but I I don't think so. I th I think I think that is the place that I'm supposed to be to find the thing per his map. Um, I could go back and ask something, but he would be completely useless to me. Uh, and you know what? I'll go and demonstrate how useless he is, just because. Because this is what you would do if you were struggling and you couldn't figure it out. You would come back to him and say, like, dude, um, I need some help, but I can ask about Jake. That's that's not going to help me whatsoever. All right, so we found, like, another one. All right, so I was just in the wrong place. I think I may have even did it wrong. Nope, I got it right. Good knowledge. So I was in the wrong the place at the wrong time. But it's May still angle. frustrating because I had no idea where there's a cemetery. There was multiple cemeteries. Um, and it can be easy to kind of get, you know, I guess stuck in a way with that because you don't really know what to do because it gives you next to no direction. And again, I think it's by design. The whole point of the game is this treasure treasure hunting stuff to go and look around and try to find stuff. I just can't, you know, find any of this stuff. Alright, so now we finally get our quest. Uh, this is where I have been stuck on again. I can ask him again. Like, what, what is it I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to go talk to Russell. Not very helpful at all, uh, but at least it gives me an idea of what, what I need to do. I already know where Russell's at because I've uh, come down to that location and I pointed him out earlier, but I couldn't interact with him. Then we come down and find Russell and we say, hey man. Duck, where? He's drunk or hungover. I'm so sharp. To win And he gives me a list. He wants some grog, a banana, yellow flower, blue mushroom, and gel herbs. Okay, well, there's a banana. She's calling. Bump down on. He just straight up gives me a banana, and and that's relatively nice. So then we need a yellow flower and the grog and the blue mushroom. So the the grog is here at the capsized crab on the ground, rather unassuming. 
And the yellow mushroom is in this, you know, basically swamp land uh, that you have to basically enter the right way. And it's not incredibly clear uh, how to get in there, so I, I had difficulties uh, when I first started doing it. I couldn't even get in here. Good and there Hi, is man. our blue mushroom. Pretty simple thus far. At least it seems like it, but I promise you, uh, as I was really trying to look around and find stuff, I was incredibly infuriated because I couldn't figure out where anything was. I couldn't find stuff. It was just... It was frustrating, uh, just trying to get through everything and, and look around and, and find the stuff that I'm looking for, so... That part was pretty rough <laughs> to try to find out everything. Uh, so we come back up here because I know that there were some yellow flowers. Prehood. And... The only thing left is the gel herbs. And the jail herbs are in this area right here. Uh, but how to get it, I don't know exactly. Uh, because so one of the things that you come over here, you see this, and it's like, okay, don't know what any of that is. Uh, it's probably a cipher uh, requirement. And at first you can't you can't use it because you have to come up here. You have to you have to go to your journal. You need to change your side quest uh, to your active quest and now you can use the cipher uh, now oh, there we go we we have to rotate this and that's how we find the cipher irony And we already know where who it belongs to because we've already talked to them. But now we have to go back to the town to let them know uh, that we figured out the password. How can I find it? Alright, so now now we have these. Break into the locked hut. I don't know where the locked hut is. Oh, it's right here. Alright. And then we get a puzzle. And I, 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 this is the first time I actually have done this puzzle. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Uh... Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I, I now figured it out. Interesting. And then more Tetrising. Oh, that's how you solve the puzzle. So that's good news. People will be able to see this and uh, 
look at it, this will actually be like, you know, how to make it past the first two islands, maybe, if all, if all continues to go well. Pirate. Marsh. Alright, we'll go tell this guy that we got this, and then we could probably go and actually, um, get through our other location. Alright, so now we gotta go back to the jail cell. We have our lockpick. Uh, and I'm not doing any of the side quests, uh, because some of the quests, uh, you're gonna have to come back to the islands anyway in order to do stuff. Uh, based on this, Jail Herbs looks like it is potentially right there, so... We'll come and do this, uh, and then we will continue on our little journey here. I feel like I have not, uh, not enough pieces to actually complete this. Uh, lock picking difficulty is novice. I know that eventually, at some point, the game just decides to solve the puzzle for me, but I, I have not figured out uh, what, like what, uh, what's the criteria for it to do so. Like I don't know how much time is required to pass. It would be nice uh, if in this certain context of what I'm doing, uh, if it would basically give me some kind of better indication uh, that what I was doing was, uh, you know, not really what I needed it to do. But it certainly doesn't do that. It's just... It doesn't. Dietz? Thou dosen odolin. Dosen a plantin. Gaia Dalu, ever certain cured it in? Ue, run. I don't know what's in this one. It looks like a plant or something, so. It's not necessarily something I need to do. It also looks like uh, there's some pieces missing, so there's no way for me to solve this right now. But let's go give Russell this, and we're going to see if that'll finish this puzzle. Uh, and if it does, then I can say that at least I can finish the second island, at least the, the main puzzle portion. Alright, what did it say? I have to find my dog first. No. All right, I have to find the dog. Well, the dog is gone. He's he's up there for some reason. I don't know why he's up there. All right, come with me, dog. Brayton. I don't know if it's just like I'm I'm going too quickly for him and it doesn't want to like uh, follow through, or I, I don't know what the deal is. But Drayton seems to be more of a hindrance in the game than a positive to me. Uh, cause he just seems to get in the way constantly and. And by getting away, I mean like I shouldn't have to like go back and get him. He should have been with me the whole time to begin with. I don't know why he wasn't. Alright, but anyway, that's how you get to Fell Me Island. Uh it's taken me a very long time to get this far in the game, so I don't know if I'm going to make more videos just because I'm not good at this game and it's just relatively difficult for me and the puzzles kind of just 
have been somewhat frustrating. So this is just more of a tutorial, I guess, of how to get through the first two islands. And um, yeah, we'll end with digging wherever Drayton's uh, looking and we'll give him a pet and that'll be the end of the video. If you like what you saw and the puzzles didn't infuriate you and you think that they're going to be up your alley, um, then absolutely follow the link. Uh, you know, the game is out. And you can play it. And if it is a little bit frustrating for you, you could probably still try it. And, uh, yeah, you know, thanks thanks for watching. I, uh, you've made it all the way to the end. I mean, that's, you're quite the trooper, and congratulations for your patience. That's it. Boomtown on.